Okay, welcome to our series on professional grade porting and polishing tools from ccspecialtytool.com. It's the place to go for all your professional grade porting and polishing tool needs, uh, accessories and equipment. What we're going to go over today is the 1MC. Now it's a, uh, this is another professional grade porting and polishing tool that I want to bring to your attention because I see so many people out there using the wrong tools for the job. They use things like air grinders, die grinders, um, Dremels, things to that nature. Those things are great for woodworking, but they're not for doing your porting and polishing with. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice that this is a right angle porting and polishing tool, and the idea behind a right angle porting and polishing tool is you can get to transfer ports. Yeah, so those great little things that open from your crankshaft into your combustion chamber. Uh, by doing that, they're able to properly port Thank you, Blake. They're able to properly port the transfers here. You can even chamfer the windows correctly. Um, now, this is all important because your trajectory into the combustion chamber is very important. Also, you can properly radius these windows here. You can you can give a rounded edge to them, which is very important on the piston ring transfer in and out of the port window and things to that nature. Also, right angles, you're able to do proper chamfering from the inside on your uh, port windows. What you will see a lot of people try to do is use a straight hand piece like this to do that. They'll reach through here or they'll reach across from one side or they'll try to reach here. You cannot get the proper trajectory. You cannot get the proper angle with a straight hand piece. These are great for doing the outside work, for get, doing the edge work, for about a million things, but they're not for doing transfers and they're not for doing the chamfering to the interior of the combustion chamber. The reason being is as you are pressing against this, this carbide shank will tend to bend. As it bends, it gets off center and it will tend to helicopter, spinning around out of control, which can damage your cylinder head, it can damage your tool, and it can damage you. So let's avoid that. Um, the 1MC, I'm going to go over a couple of the quick features here. You'll see this 1MC, it's in extended mode, which means the head will actually extend three inches to reach better. You can slide it back down and tighten the neural nut there. The other thing about it is this is in left hand configuration, which means the carbide burr is through the other way. Now the reason that is, is it also has a left hand carbide burr on here, which means the cut goes the opposite way. What's great about that is reverse and contra angles, you can actually get in there and get a better angle on the porting tool. Um, some of the other things I want to go over here uh, right quick is on two strokes like this, on race two strokes, the only way to get to some of these boost ports correctly is with a right angle hand piece. Because of their odd angle, because of their, at a different angle to the combustion chamber, there's no way to reach them except with a right angle porting tool like this. Uh, straights, again, are great for doing these areas that come from the uh, crankcase into the combustion chamber, but they're not for doing the transfers. Uh, 1MC can run things like this uh, uh, diamond impregnated burr, which uh, allows you to cut through Nicosil, uh cast iron cylinder liners, things to that nature. So it has the strength, in particular with our motor setup, where you have full torque at any RPM it has the strength to cut through strong metals, um, but it also has the delicacy to work with aluminum, which is important because when you're running at just a few thousand RPM, you're, you have one, you, for one, you have better control. For a second thing, as you increase speed, you're going to increase heat at the contact point. So if you're using air grinders, what you can actually be doing is heating up the aluminum which will cause it to ripple, cause it to distort, and change the actual metallurgy of the aluminum. Uh, so you're actually fighting against yourself as you're heating it with one of those air grinders because you have to run at such a hot RPM. Ours can run, it's got the same torque, the same strength at this RPM as it does all the way up to 15,000 or 20,000 RPM, which is an important feature. Um, We'll go over later in some of our other series, we'll go over some of our other right angle hand pieces like this 3MC, which is a larger one that can run quarter inch carbide and even our smaller ones like our 55MC for smaller CC heads.